I'm going to show you how to send emails to your list in Hoppy Copy. The first thing you're going to want to do is ensure you have a list. So right now I'm in the people section and here's where I've added some of my contacts. You can add an individual or you can import a ton of contacts from a CSV and you can sort your contacts. You can group them into audiences. So like whether it's investors or influencers or any other kind of category you want. And if you have the data, you can get super granular with the way you segment your contact. So for example, you can create an audience based on when the contact was created, if it was after a certain date, um, or maybe it was an event they, they took and you have the data based on something they did on your website. Using this, you can create some super targeted messaging to these different segments. Once you've got your contacts, head on over to your documents and click on the email that you want to send. So here I've got one ready, product showcase. So let's say I'm happy with the email. I think it looks pretty good. And I click on publisher. And here I can do a few things. First thing I'm going to want to do a subject line. So maybe something like take a dip. We also have a really cool subject line creator tool, which I highly recommend checking out to come up with some really cool, unique angles. And then I'm going to select my sender. Right now I've got one set up from the de default sender here, Hoppy Email, but you can add your own DNS. You can do that and just clicking here and add your own domain to send directly from yourself if you'd like, but you can also send from our domain. On the left here, you've got our theme. So right now I'm using the pink lemonade theme I've created. We can change this to an entirely different theme if we want to give it like a different kind of look, but this is the one I've got here for now. We can preview it on mobile, dark mode, and we can find sample data. So if there's any personalization in the email, this is where you can see how it looks when it's personalized. But there's no personalization in this email. You can add preview text if you like. But yeah, this is basically how it's going to look and it's ready to go. So what I can do here is I can click test email and send a test myself. But I'm here to show you how to publish. So to do that, we're going to click publish. And here we've got our three subscribers in our contacts group. So you can send to these subscribers or you can just choose like, oh, I just want to send to my investors. And it's super easy just to flip between either. And maybe I just want to go to investors and influencers. So you can select those options and send to really whoever you want, whatever, whichever list you want. So let's say for right now, I just want to send to influencers. I'm going to choose when I want to send it. So I can send it immediately just right now. And it'll, this prompt will pop up and it'll just confirm what I want to send. But let's say instead this time I want to schedule it. So I want it to go, let's say Friday, and I can even specify the exact time here, but let's schedule this here, click send it. The prompt's going to come up again. It's going to say, ask me, you know, do I want to confirm? I want to schedule it now and yeah, send. So that's it. The email is done within seconds. You've gone from your document to a sent email. And then when your email has been sent, you can pop on over to your stats here and see how many people have opened it how many people have clicked it, and the overall performance of your email. To check on the status of your emails, it's all just here in the document editor. So you can see already now the product showcase, this is the, the email, is now on scheduled. You can, you can cancel it directly right here. So let's say we, we do cancel that. The status will now change, and we're going to go back to the publisher. And let's say instead, we want to just send it this time right away. Now the email has been sent. And if we refresh, what we're going to see is the status is going to change to published. And there it is, published. And you can quickly get your stats for every email you sent just right here.